Hey, thanks for joining me today. It's Pastor Lafayette. And it is Monday. We are in Luke chapter 10. Looks like we're about in verse 13, 12 or 13. Let's start in verse 12. Remember, Jesus just sent out his disciples, said that if they won't receive you, when you leave, shake the dust off your feet. And uh, then he responds in verse 12. But I say to you that it will be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Uh, woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyr and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyr and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. He who hears you hears me. He who rejects you rejects me. And he who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Powerful few verses. Here's the, the critical thing is this. Uh, these places were going to have a, a demonstration of the power of God, a manifestation, if you will, of the power of God. Jesus was coming to their, their towns. Uh, before that, though, of course, he was sending his disciples into their towns. They were getting a, a, a true gospel representation. And if they sent them out, he said, it's going to be more tolerable for Sodom and, and, and uh, I'm sorry, Tyre and Sidon than it's going to be for them. It's going to be more tolerable for Sodom. And what did God do to Sodom? He rained down fire and brimstone and destroyed the place. It is dangerous for you. Oh, let me finish this thought first. What would he say to the United States? We have got the gospel message, right? It's being preached on airwaves all over the place. We've got Christian TV, but we still have uh, <coughs> basically nationalized abortion. <coughs> we are getting ready to do some unbelievable things with the true, what a true definition of marriage is. What will he say to us? I think we're in danger of judgment as bad as Sodom or Gomorrah. But I want you to understand it is a danger for you to, to listen to these take fives and to go to church and to listen to TV preachers and to hear things that are the true word of God and then reject them. It is a tremendous danger for you to hear God speak. To hear what God want, you know, what God's at, uh, telling you to do, to understand his instruction and then turn from it. It is going to come with major consequence. I know people who go to church day in and day out. They're always there every Sunday or Wednesday or whenever they have service. But they don't change. They just go because they're attenders. There's nothing changed in them. And my friend, if that is true about you, you are in serious danger. Because God is trying to do a mighty work in you. He's He puts you under people who will hopefully speak life into your life. <clears throat> and if you don't respond to it, if you don't do the right things with God and His Word, my friend, it is dangerous for you. Please hear what I say. Respond to the Lord. If you went to church yesterday and you were convicted about something but you didn't respond, do it now. Please do it now. Father, I want to thank you today for your goodness and mercy. You are always calling us back to yourself. Help, Lord, people who are hearing me today realize that what we need to do is be sensitive enough to your spirit to not grieve your spirit and return to you with our whole heart. You want all of us. You want all of us, Lord. Help us to respond properly in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today.